My name is Cristiano Mansalva and I'm going to discuss about electromagnetic wave using ultrasonic sound where to be tested on an oscilloscope. An oscilloscope is a machine that shows the wave shape of an electrical signal. When connected to an ultrasonic module, they can show the wavelength. Oscilloscopes principally measures voltage and time. Measuring other physical properties such as temperature, pressure, flow, velocity, or displacement on an oscilloscope requires use of transducer or sensor to convert the measured quantity into voltage. Using the oscilloscope's function, you can scale the input voltages into units that match the transducer's input. The Arduino ultrasonic module includes transmitters and receiver and control circuit. This distant sensor works by sending out an ultrasonic wave from the ter trigger terminal and detecting whether there is a pulse signal back through the echo. If there is a returning pulse signal, it is measured and the length of time the pulse remains at the peak corresponds to the distance an object is from the sensor. The longer the returning pulse is, the further the object is away. A short pulse of at least 10 microseconds is supplied to the trigger input to start the arranging and the module sends out an 8 cycle burst of ultrasound at 40 kilohertz and the echo is raised. Here's how to calibrate. We need, we need this oscilloscope and we have four channels. I'm gonna use channel, we're using channel 2 and 4. So right now we're gonna use channel 4 in order to test and calibrate. So this this is how to calibrate. Uh, from the ground to the test calibration. This is how you can see digital waveform. Procedure. The 5 volts DC supply was connected to the VCC pin on the sensor. The function output was connected to the trig pin. All grounds were connected together. Channel 2 of the oscilloscope was connected to measure the input pulse or trig. Channel 4 of the oscilloscope was connected to echo pin to measure the returning pulse if any. Without any position on front of the sensor, the following was obtained on the screen of the oscilloscope. The function output was set to produce low frequency pulse. The distance was measured and the waveforms displayed on the oscilloscope was recorded. The waveform displayed were used to cal calculate the actual distance of the sensor measured from the object. An object was then positioned in front of the sensor and the oscilloscope displayed the following. Here, the peak of the returning signal was of a duration of roughly 1.5 millisecond, distance measured with the calculated distance of, a, of approximately 25 cm. The object was then moved closer to, to a further from the sensor. Here, the peak of the returning signal was of a duration of roughly 0 0.333 milliseconds and thereby measured a distance of approximately 5.5 cm when calculated, which was close to the distance. The waveform displayed on channel 4 of the oscilloscope indicates that the object is approximately 25 cm from the sensor, thereby showing that the sensor can quite accurately detect the distance it is from an object that is an acute angle. This maximum angle at which the sensor detected the object during testing was approximately 20 degrees. One negative about this sensor is that it's blind for the first 2 cm. But more importantly, careful monitoring must be adhered to. As if it's positioned too high, it won't detect other robots. But if it's positioned too far back on the robot, 
it will detect itself and pursue its an opposition robot.